guys doing today? It's Blake the Webhead. Um, doing a new segment for my channel. I decided to call it the Money Shot. Now, I know you're all thinking, oh, that's a porn reference. True. And this is kind of why I decided to, to call this segment the Money Shot. Usually, when you buy a game, the first 10 minutes while you're playing is really the deciding point in the game where it keeps you either playing or you decide that you don't even want to play anymore because you're bored. So, this segment is called the money shot because of the fact that I'm going to play the first 10 minutes of this game and show you guys what it's like, whether it's a game that's going to keep me playing or keep you playing or if it's a game that's going to make you not want to play the game. Also, I'm doing it I'm doing the money shot today on the game called Marvel Heroes. Uh, it has just been released. It came out of beta. It um, it was released a few days ago. Um, I'm going to play the first 10 minutes of this game. I have never played before, so this is the first time I'm playing. And um, this is, uh, I guess, the first characters that you're able to choose from. And I guess I will pick... Uh, I'm going to go with Storm. Storm is pretty cool. So I'm going to pick her. But the first five characters that you actually get to pick or choose from is Daredevil, Storm, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, and The Thing from Fantastic Four. I'm going to pick Storm, like I said. And we're going to get this thing started. Observing your world since before humanity reigned as the dominant I always like to watch the opening cutscenes for games like Marvel and I stuff. I have watched so. your greatest explorers become your greatest heroes. I have watched you turn accident into triumph. I have watched selfless acts defy a lifetime. Seen the flash of genius define the future. I have watched legends born. Turn into purpose. Over and over again, I have watched all of this and so much more because that is the task bequeathed to me by the universe. But I can stand by and watch no more. I have watched you, Victor. I know what you're planning, and it cannot be allowed. Humanity is at an important crossroads. The future of your species is at stake. So today, I have broken my Watcher's vow to never interfere with the course of humanity. I am here to stop you. I have so little respect for those who do not know their place. You do not know the power you abuse. 
that you do not seem to know how to be silent. The power of the cube is mine to control. You are a fool to come here. You have no one to blame but yourself. Please, no human can hold such power. You're wrong! Okay, so this is that was the opening cutscene, and now we're gonna start uh, start the game. Relax, I have had no Ultron related malfunctions in weeks. So this game reminds me a lot of well, the gameplay in this game reminds me a lot of Diablo. If anybody is familiar with it. Heads up, people. This is Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've called you here because we have a bit of a situation. As we speak, the supervillain prison known as the Wrath is under attack by agents of Hydra. Several prisoners have already escaped their cells. Level 7 threats. Black Green Goblin. Sabertooth. Living Laser. Dr. Octopus. Some have even escaped the island. S.H.I.E.L.D. has agents on site, but we need your help. Get to the raft and do it together. Good luck. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. So like I was saying, this game reminds me a lot of Diablo, if you guys aren't familiar with that game, then maybe Marvel Alliance, it's more like a over-the-top view as you go through and defeat uh, minions and bosses and stuff like that. Let me turn the volume down a little bit for you guys. It's still a little bit loud. Okay, that might be better. So, their prisons, prisoners have been escaping from the Wrath, which is a prison, and they've sent me here to pretty much take care of, of the breakout, the prison break. The thing about this game is that it's massive online and um, a number of people can play the good thing about this game is that you can be instead of other games where they allow you to create your own character in this game you can actually choose between your favorite characters and play as those characters now the, the back end of this is the fact that numerous people can have the same character so you can be running around as storm like I am and you can run into another player that also likes to use storm and they're using storm but um, Gillian entertainment the company that made this game decided that they wanted to put a ton of options to customize your costumes so you can unlock co different costumes and be different so that you're not exactly like everybody else, which is which is pretty cool. I know you guys are familiar with elevator fight scenes and such like that. I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen while you're on, I'm on this elevator. Something always happens while you're on the elevator. Already I kind of like playing this game. I, I don't even know if I'd have to play it for a full 10 minutes to, to really see if I like it. And I, I really like the way that they made this game. Um, 
I can dodge attacks by just pointing and clicking so I don't get hit. I have the option to upgrade my moves when I level up, which is another cool part of this game. You can uh, gain levels and upgrade your skills and uh, pick up I items and loot from um, fallen enemies and such. They also made it possible for you to unlock characters after you beat bosses. And when you beat these bosses and you unlock the character, they make it so you can, at will, during a game, at any time, switch characters if you have them available, which is awesome. One thing is you're going to have to, um, you would have to re-level them though. They're not going to start off if you switch a character with the same level as your main character. So you would have to start leveling those characters as well. I thought that thing was going to hit me. <laughs> Okay, so I have to fight Living Laser, which is one of the characters that has escaped. He teleports. And it's cool because he does, he has an attack pattern. And you can, you can actually figure out the attack pattern and learn it and counter it so you can defeat him. And there you go. He's down. That's the first 10 minutes of Marvel Heroes, the new online action RPG that has been made and released by Gillian Entertainment. Um, I really, I, I really, just playing, just playing this little bit of time, I really like it. I do. I like it a lot. And I recommend anyone else who likes games like this to definitely take a look. I will put a link down in the description as to where you can download it because the game is free. The game is absolutely free. There are no subscriptions. The only thing you would have to pay for if you wanted to was to pay for extra skins and stuff like that if you really need it. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay that you've watched today. Um, that concludes the segment of the money shot. And I hope you guys uh, like this um, this video. Don't forget to like. If you have any comments or questions or anything like that, put them in the comment section below. And like I said, I'll be putting a link in the description so you can download the game and try it out for yourselves. And you guys, until next time, take care.